What is up everyone? This is Greg Nowacki here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up ManyChat, which is a messenger bot, and how to use this to grow your subscriber list on Facebook when you're doing giveaways. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. So if you're not familiar with ManyChat, ManyChat is a messenger platform that you can set up different types of messenger bots. There's also another platform called ChatFuel, but ManyChat is my preferred platform. It's very easy to use and you can have all these different features that you can use to grow your subscriber list. So growing your Facebook subscriber list is really important. Um, right now with email, um, email is still important, but the problem with email is that the open rates are very small and it's a one way form of communication versus with building your subscriber list as far as a Facebook messenger list goes. The open rates are insane. We're talking about 80 to 90% and you're actually able to have a conversation with somebody all through the Facebook Messenger platform. This is huge because that creates a lot more of contextual messaging. So here's a good example, right? Like if you send an email out to somebody, you're going to pre-write out the entire email and there's only a couple things that can happen. They're going to open it. They're going to read the email and they're not going to reply or maybe they just don't open the email at all. Uh, there's also the option of they might click through. Maybe they do reply to it, but it's a one way form of communication versus with messenger. Everything is contextual. So you can set up different pathways for people to take based on the different actions. So say, for example, one of your messages says like, is this something that you're interested in? And you have two different responses of yes or no. Well, if somebody clicks yes, the responses are going to be different than if somebody clicks no. So now it's more powerful for the fact that people are having a conversation as opposed to simply just replying to one answer, whether it's to reply to a link or email you back. Messengers are huge and they're just going to continue to evolve. So one way that I use Messenger is by connecting it to a giveaway. So when I'm running a giveaway on Facebook, um, and I'm sure you've seen all the types of giveaways in the past where it's like, comment, tag, share. This is one way of growing your subscriber list. Now I do this a little different, but the basics is that you're going to want to get people to opt in. So there's different ways of setting this up, but for this example, you can use what's considered a growth tool. And this is for a messenger URL. So when you're creating your different growth tools, there's all the different types here. Let me actually switch to another account. All right. So, there's all different types of growth tools that you can use and each one has their own unique way of getting people to opt into your list. So for example, here we have a messenger URL. We can also have uh, ads. So here I'll show you all the different ones. So you have all these different widgets that you can use. Now for the growth tools, you have landing page, messenger URL. You also can connect directly to Facebook ad. You can also do Facebook comments and then you have a messenger code, customer chat, and then this new one, which is called a checkbox. Um, so the one that I'm talking about is the messenger URL. So with the messenger URL, essentially it's a URL that you can send in a message to anybody. You can also have it where if somebody clicks through on that specific link, then they'll get into the sequence. So the sequence here, and let me get this. So the sequence I have set up here is pretty straightforward. And the benefit of this is as soon as somebody opts in, they get put into a sequence. So right here, you can see that this is a starting step. So it says welcome and then it automatically inserts their name and say, hey, thank you for entering into the giveaway. And then there's this opt in button. So when somebody clicks on the link, it takes them to this opt in message first. So they have to have an opt in. So it's essentially like permission to have them subscribe to your list. Otherwise, if they don't click on this, they're added as a subscriber. But um, you know, contextually is not something where you know what they're opting in on. So you want to make sure that they opt in by having some type of call to action. You know, this one was for a cryotherapy giveaway. So as soon as they click freeze me, then I have some tags here. So this way you can kind of segment your audience. So, um, on mini chat, you can have it set up to where on the back end, like you have all the different people that have certain tags and you can also subscribe them to giveaways. Also with actions, you can set up uh, notifications for uh, admins. So say you want to be notified every single time somebody gets added with a tag for giveaway or if they get subscribed to the giveaway sequence, you can set that up so that you get all these messages knowing that like everything that you have in place is getting um, 
optimized for the right people to see and you can go in and you can segment audiences so if it's somebody that went through a giveaway well you can segment that audience into a different sequence than if it was somebody that's opting in through say your Facebook page and they're clicking through on just the messenger side of it so Facebook messaging is very powerful and having a bot in place can really help you because I've seen a ton of people that are running ads and they have the send message button but the problem is that once you click the send message there's nothing on the other side so there's nothing responding to anybody and that's a problem because if you as the person that's managing the ads or the messages itself don't respond in a timely manner the likelihood of them responding later on is a lot smaller now of course with Facebook it's a higher likelihood that they are going to respond it's not the same thing as text messages or when you're uh, calling people because this is a little bit more uh, easy to communicate with people and because people have less Facebook messages than they do text messages and phone calls there's a higher likelihood that they're going to read your message uh, you can also see when somebody reads your message and then you can also see when they're typing similar to text message but uh, the beauty is that because you're not asking for their phone number or anything you can just message them directly without having to get that phone number so messengers though are going to be a big play in 2018 so this is one simple strategy that I use in order to grow my subscriber list for my clients and you can build an entire service around just messenger bots itself so even beyond just like doing Facebook ads you can just do messenger sequence because these can, these things can get pretty elaborate um, I'll show you one that's a little bit more complex and with this one it's like you can have entire menu items so imagine if you could completely nurture a lead inside of messenger before you even get to the point where you know it's like you have to have a conversation with them I mean there's just so many opportunities here to grow your subscriber list and get people where you're nurturing them qualifying them because imagine if you get on the phone with somebody and even before you talk to them uh, you've already qualified them so you know exactly what their problem is so here from a zoomed out perspective you can kind of see this intricate crazy web that's going on here and this is all part of a messenger sequence where when somebody opts in it takes them to a welcome message and then there's all these different menu items and so each one of these different items takes them on a different pathway you cannot do this with email there's no way you can do this with email yeah Infusionsoft has some type of contextual marketing where if like somebody opens this email then it sends them this email but in real time you can't do that you can do that with a messenger ad though so you can see with this like the huge benefits um, so if you're not utilizing messenger ads yet or just messenger in general I would advise you guys to get on this because this is something where some people are starting to implement it and the ones that are early adopters have the most advantage over this so if you're running any type of Facebook ads if you're running any type of giveaways for clients definitely implement adding the messenger aspect of it have it be a part of the sequence where when somebody opts in they end up opting in for the messenger to either get additional entries or additional points or also be running Facebook ads where it's taking them directly into the Facebook Messenger sequence for your mini chat bot and getting people to start getting nurtured because with this it's so powerful like this is like retargeting on steroids because you can not only retarget certain people that view landing pages for your bot I mean there's just so many options with this and I could literally talk about this for hours so hopefully you guys found some value in this uh, definitely leave a like on it and make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one talk to you soon